Well, here we are at our lake house. We're in the process here of redoing our flat roof. As you can see, we have a small corrugated metal roof here over our hot tub. But then we have a 54 foot wide space above our Florida porch that we're in the process of redoing. Uh, we've got a couple of protrusions. We've got an air conditioning unit, a rooftop air conditioning unit, as you can see. And as I swing around here, we've got an access door, which is actually a stairwell to this flat roof. It's not meant to be a roof uh, for pedestrian traffic. Um, this roof, the original membrane here, as you can see, is very poorly installed. As you can see, they've put, rather than it adhering the system, they've put nail holes, um, nails through the membrane. They've also not overlapped the membrane. Um, if we look over here at the seams, again, nails were used okay, and not properly adhered. We are in the process right now of redoing one third of our roof, and we've prepared the deck here as you can see. We've installed new drip edge, we've installed new sheathing, uh, some rigid foam insulation. Uh, we're going to use the EPDM coating white for uh, our final topping. As you come over here, what we've done coming off this bank of shingles, as you can see it's a we've got a slope transition here and we have used some of the former rubber membrane as uh, a transition uh, uh, material, flashing material for this. We've put in our starter strip and we are now getting prepared for the application of the liquid rubber. Uh, we're going to be doing this first third here this summer as this was the area that we had uh, specific leaks and we will be redoing the entire surface uh, next summer and replacing all of that black with white liquid rubber. Okay, one last look at the uh, final deck preparation. Again, you'll see that we've used rigid foam insulation here and butyl tape to cover up seams, any gaps, uh, drip edges installed under the um, butyl tape. So we've got a good connection there. As I mentioned earlier, we've used a rubber membrane uh, to go up 18 inches under the uh, shingles to create the flashing required there. And all in all, we have materials that will adhere nicely to the liquid rubber membrane we're about to apply. And there you have it, voila. There is, in less than two hours, the liquid rubber membrane attached. And we'll look forward to doing the other two-thirds of our roof next year, the two-thirds that are currently not leaking. But in time that will occur, so we will look forward to completing the application of the membrane for the entire 54-foot span next summer.